Hey buddies, today we have a Honda HRC 216 that uh, is over revving. My buddy Manuel started it up today and it just started revving through the roof, so he's bringing it here. We'll see if we can figure out what's going on. All the carburetor linkages are loose. Everything seems to be functioning the way it's supposed to, so I'm zeroing in on the governor lever here. Again, so the idea is to move the governor lever on the shaft, and I want to move the lever counterclockwise on that shaft. So I'll loosen the nut there with a 10 millimeter. So when you're adjusting this, the idea is to hold the shaft that comes out of the engine steady while you rotate this lever here on that shaft, whether you rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise. So if you rotate it counterclockwise on that shaft, that actually slows the engine speed. And a pair of pliers to hold the shaft, and I'm going to rotate the lever on that shaft. All right, here we go. So let's put the throttle in the fast position, all the way fast, not to the choke, just to the fast. And I've already loosened the nuts. So I'm going to go ahead and hold the shaft while I move the lever as far as I can, counterclockwise. And that's where I want to tighten it down. Hopefully that'll stay in place. I rotated that lever a little too far on the shaft, so I'm going to loosen things back up and, uh, and rotate it slightly clockwise. I'm going to make a mark on that shaft and on the lever so I know exactly where I'm at as far as the adjustment I need to be. Let's do this. I wish I knew the correct procedure for doing this. It would sure be a lot easier than the trial and error method, but you know, whatever. We'll figure it out. Do you see where that spring is attached right there? That hole, that little tab. Now that's slow speed operation. When we move up to high speed operation, it actually puts a little tension on that spring as you can see, see that? So if you bend that tab backwards towards the camera, um, it's going to make that spring a little bit tighter when you go to high speed. That, in turn, will increase your high speed RPMs. So if you're having trouble uh, getting that dang uh, governor adjusted, get it as close as you can, and then move over to the spring here. And like I say, you can make up the adjustment by bending that tab forward or backwards. Backwards, um, you know, making that spring tighter increases your lawnmower's RPM. So. so after a lot of trial and error, I got this thing uh, adjusted perfectly. 